you can hear the train and rainbow lorikeets. Lorikeets? Dirt bike. You can hear the train? Yeah. It's nice. It's subtle. We're far enough away from it. It's like soothing. Lorikeets? They are noisy birds. Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. Ever since you came around, I've never been sober. Always in my head Met you at a time when I was so low Went from just talking to taking you home I don't wanna go back to who I used to be So if you ever leave me I promise you won't let you. me and uh, develop a brand. I'm not exactly sure what that is, um, other than, frankly, I'm a Canadian carpenter that lives in Australia. I'm David Reed. I'm a Canadian. I come from here. I'm from there. Lives in Australia. I live here. I live there. And I've just been given a contract to work in Antarctica for 12 months. I'm going to work there and I'm going to go work in Antarctica for a year. I'm going to Antarctica. I got a job as a carpenter during the summer and as the carpenter and supervisor during the winter. I'm going to be at Casey Station, which is the biggest station I believe. It has something like a capacity of 160 odd in the summer and in the winter they usually have a crew of around 20. 
So I will be one of those 20 uh, along with a station leader and possibly another maintenance supervisor as well, all with plenty of experience. I found out that I've got to do um, a couple more courses that I wasn't aware of. I knew that I had to take them. I didn't know that I had to do it um, of my own accord uh, as opposed to the three courses that they advised me I had to do, told me to book that and said they'd reimburse me for it. They told me that there's a couple of the courses that I'm just expected to have. So that means I've got to book them and pay for them that won't be reimbursed, which is a bit. I mean, they're like $900 for two courses. So didn't count on that. And then, oh yeah, so uh, I need to get a forklift license and I need to get an asbestos removal license. I believe it has something to do with the fact that the old station, Casey Station, as well as all the others were built in the 80s, I believe. And it's hard to believe they're still using asbestos building materials in the 80s, but they were. Well, I've had to deal with it doing demolition and uh, construction for years now. But I wasn't licensed to deal with it, so I really just hired a contractor to deal with that. So it looks like I'm going to be the contractor to deal with that now. So I'm a Canadian carpenter who lives in Australia with his Australian wife and dog. And I've got this contract that's going to take me to Antarctica for 12 months. Uh, I don't leave until the end of November, so uh, it's the end of August right now, so that's still a bit of time. I'm going to spend six weeks in Tasmania, in Hobart, uh, for, for some more training. So, um, is that my brand? I'm a Canadian carpenter living in Australia who's going to go to work in, a, in Antarctica. Um, is that a brand? Is that a thing? Canadian carpenter in Australia. Is, how about that? Does that work? Um, let's go with that. Yeah, so I guess I need a logo, some graphics and stuff. All right, here we go. I don't know if they're poisonous. We're not going to risk it. Sometimes she eats mushrooms that I don't see because she loves them. And sometimes she eats garbage. A garbage monster. We try not to let her eat all that stuff, but she's really strong. It's a beautiful day. It's almost like summer here. After I do this trip, I'll probably be taking some time off, time off. I don't have a job after it's over, so after 12 months, after my contract finishes in early December 2021, I'll, I don't know, hopefully have a job lined up, but I'm also planning on taking a holiday. I need to visit my mom, I need to visit my sister, my dad, and my niece, Aya. That's important, we haven't seen them. We would have visited this year, 2020, but that didn't happen. No one was traveling to other countries, which makes sense, but it was sad. I was supposed to go there to see my cousin's wedding, and that didn't happen. So hopefully by the time I get back, so this is gonna be like a year and a half from now almost, maybe for Christmas 2021, I'll be able to spend that time with my family in Canada. That'd be nice, I never go to Canada in the winter. You go figure. But you know, it'll be nice to see 
the snow after a year in Antarctica. What am I talking about?